Good morning, Scorpions and Scorpion families. It's Ms. Fitzpatrick, and I'm here with another one of our Scorpion Speaker Series. Today, I'm here with Ms. Joanna Perez. Hi! And she is a small business owner here in the Valley, um, yeah. and, she, and her beautiful daughter is here with us, too. Hi! <laughs> um, and today, she's going to tell you a little bit about her small business and her path to getting there. So, Joanna, what do you do? You do so many things. What do you do? So, uh, to begin with, my main thing is I am a dance instructor. I teach many classes, um, group classes, private lessons, and I have been doing that since I was 15, but I've been dancing since I was eight. So, it's, it's been a very long journey in my dancing. <laughs> Aside from my dancing, I do commission crafting, and basically, it's just arts and crafts for people, um, and it ranges from anywhere from custom Funko Pops to centerpieces for parties, invitations for parties, candles, wood burning, just anything you can think of, I, I go ahead and make, and my thing is I like to tell people that I, I do uh, personalized gifts for people. Um, and then on top of that, I do um, uh, dog sitting. I take care of people's dogs when they go on vacation or when they, you know, they need anything that requires the dog to be outside of the house. <laughs> I have loved dogs for many, many years. I started at a dog uh, boarding facility and um, I just didn't like the idea that, you know, at that certain place, dogs were just put in the kennel with a few walks here and there. So having all the space that I have here in my yard, I decided that I wanted to offer that to the dogs and give them, you know, free range to run around, more personal walks. Hi there. And um, yeah, and then um, on top of that, then I am a, a wedding officiant and a public notary in the state of Nevada. Well, you do so many things. They call her the gal for the gig. You can find her on Instagram and Instagram and Facebook. And Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> so if you need any of the things she's talking about today. Yes. Um, we are in her dance studio right now. As you guys can see, the mirror behind us. Um, and so this is where you give lessons? Yes. Yes, it's actually right in my backyard, <laughs> yep. nice and convenient for myself, um, but yeah, just through the experience I had with other studios, I had just had decided that it was better for me to own my own place and be the boss of my own place, have my own hours. Um, I wouldn't really have to work with anybody else as far as when I should be teaching class, when I can schedule someone in. So yeah, this is this is the, the dojo. <laughs> <laughs> so what was your path getting to where you are now? So I have known that I've been wanting to dance and teach dancing since I was very, very young. Um, my first choreography was actually when I was in fifth grade. Mm -hmm. And um, I just got a group of my friends together and we, you know, I taught them to dance and we went on a talent show that way. And I was doing a talent show from third grade all the way up to sixth grade. So it was a lot of talent shows. <laughs> and by fifth grade, I was like, you know what, I think I want to teach my own thing. And it just, it continued that way. Middle school was talent shows and high school was like any chance that I can, you know, teach my friends to dance and try to get, you know, before or after football games. And, you know, after my quinceanera got canceled because my parents got divorced. Oh. Yeah, it, it, it sucked. <laughs> but the, the light of that was the fact that the friends that I had in my group, they enjoyed the way that I was teaching to dance and enjoyed what I was teaching. So that the following year when they were turning 15, then you know, I got the chance to teach fairs, and that's basically how my career went. It just started from 15, it just kept going and going, It just, you're never going to get, you know, it's an endless number of women turning 15. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, that's true. <laughs> so you teach quince dances still? Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I was actually thinking that this was going to be my last year teaching just because, um, you know, one of the biggest things is that, like, the quinceañeras, they're very into the more uh, Mexican genre music. And it's kind of been a, a repetitive thing for me. I don't mm -hmm. feel like I'm able to express myself as a dancer anymore because I'm stuck with the same genres of music, mm -hmm. you know? And I, I can't tell them, you know, this is what I want to teach because they're the ones paying me. Mm -hmm. it, it's a big event. They're paying a lot of money for it. So I got to give them what they want, you know? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you know, I don't want to feel like I'm stuck in the old, like my own career that I chose, you know, and I want to be able to express myself freely. So I, I might slow it down this upcoming year. You know, this year I, I still, you know, I got deposits for some, so I'm kind of, you know, in it to, <laughs> until the end, you know. But next year I do plan on uh, offering more group classes where I can go and express my creativity more with my dance. 
That's awesome. You have such a positive outlook. <laughs> Thank you. And, you know, it's like you take something that, you know, something that went wrong and then you turn it around and it's something that's really positive. And that's such an important aspect to have, like, a life that where you grow yeah. and that you're proud of. Yeah, right? absolutely. It's just, uh, you know, there's no time to stay negative it takes a lot of energy from you as well so the best thing you do is you know convert it into a positive thing and you know keep going from there mm -hmm. so um do you like what you do i love what i do i love what i do i i love the flexibility i love the the empowerment that it gives me dancing is such a such a confident boost, booster and you know and same thing with everything else that I do I mean when I officiate weddings like I'm a person who loves love you know so when I'm able to officiate a wedding I'm putting I'm bringing two people together and you know that brings me a lot of happiness too it puts a lot of positivity not only to other people's lives but mine as well you know it makes me even happier that you know I'm married and you know I'm able to to marry other people it's just it's it's a lot of positivity in everything that I do yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds really fun. One, they say that if you love what you do, you never work, right? Exactly. <laughs> it's very true. So what advice do you have for Scorpio? Uh, my biggest advice would be not to be afraid to dabble at different things. Uh, a lot of people will tell you, you know, don't buy more than you can chew. And my, my comeback to that is basically it's okay to chew slow. <laughs> I, uh, I found myself, you know, making a lot of money at a really young age. And I found that that didn't make me happy at all. So I went back to the things that I loved and realized, you know, I had extra time to do more of the things that I loved. And if I could make money off of it, why not? You know, uh, it's the same way I want to raise my daughter. Um, yeah, I want to teach her that, you know, she is able to try whatever she wants. Most parents say, you know, oh, they don't, they're only going to do it for two days, two weeks, you know, and then they're going to quit. That's okay. You know, if, as long as you try, you never know until you try. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, and you are going to be on campus today. At the basketball course. Yes. What can our Scorpions expect? You guys can expect a fun dance lesson, and the way that I teach dance lessons is not your typical hype dancing that you see on TikTok, Instagram, or Facebook. What I teach is what you see in underground events um, where battles happen, um, where you guys don't necessarily have things choreographed, you're just pulling things out of your head. So um, I'm basically teaching you a certain technique today for dance, and I'm also going to be teaching you the certain, uh, certain type of genre that it goes to, but how you can convert that dance into other genres that you like well that sounds super fun yes <laughs> i'm a terrible dancer but i will be out there so if anyone wants to battle me or joanna probably um <laughs> probably a better bet um <laughs> we would love to see you out on the basketball courts so thank you for being here with us today thank you for having me i'm so excited to meet all of you guys and show what i love to do with you all right scorpions i hope you have a wonderful day